Hey everyone, this is Beth from Art by Vidal and today I'm going to show you a new journal I have completed. This is a nature journal. If you like my ferns and friends journals, you're going to like this one. This is a big journal like they were. It has um, three signatures in it. It measures 7 by 12 on the outside. The inside pages are 6 and 3 quarters by 11. So they're just a little bit smaller. It has 154 pages and it comes with a lot of extras like nine paper pads there's 10 loose papers inside for journaling on there's lots and lots of tags and journaling cards it has a fabric cover and we'll just turn this um, right around so you can see what we're looking at and enjoy the flip through okay here is our new journal it's a nature journal it reminds me a lot of the Ferns and Friends journal in that it's about the same size. It measures 7 by 11. The inside pages are 6 and 3 quarters by 11. There's 154 pages and it's on three signatures that have been hand bound into the binding of our journal. It is fabric covered. It's been machine stitched and hand stitched here. Here is the top of the journal. You can see lots of fibers sticking out. And then on the side of the journal, the front side, you'll see that the cover, the fabric cover comes over to the front to help protect the inside pages. Okay, so we'll open this up. On the outside, we have a metal plate here for journaling. This is a leaf that I picked up. I live near the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon and last year I picked this up off the ground floor of the canyon and dried it and then laminated it. Here is a little pocket with a bug on the outside and on the inside is a little bitty tag. And then we have this really nice owl. You'll find there are lots of field note cards inside this. You can use this journal as a field journal if, so, if you so desire. There's certainly lots of cards in here to make that um, possible. Or you can just use it as a regular journal and you'll have field notes of your life, of your daily life. So we'll open this up. Here is our inside page. And on the inside cover here, we have, as I had said, that we did some hand stitching, and so that's all hand stitched down. We have a library pocket inside the library pocket, then that's an original library pocket also. We have a library card, and then we have a tag here. This book has tons of texture in it, whether it's visual texture or physical texture, there's tons of texture. The handmade papers are not papers that I have made. There's some that I purchased a long time ago, but you can see like all the different leaves and stuff that's been incorporated into the making of this paper. I love the handmade papers. This book, all my journals, as like all my journals, is been made to be used as a journal for writing in, but it's also full of eye candy if you just want something to flip through and look at and have like a table coffee table book or whatever. Lots and lots of room for journaling absolutely everywhere in this book. You'll find a lot of page tabs, whether they be on the top or the sides. They're like little clusters of different pieces of paper. You have some book paper here. This is negative of a die cut, a fern die cut, and then it's been layered on top of some textured papers here. A little bee over here in the corner. Our papers, our digitals, many of our digitals are Artie Mae's Nature Remedies. There's Shabby Dabby Duda, Rambler's Notes, Porch Prints. I've got a lot of their stuff in here. When I do the flip through, when I do the page by page on my Facebook page, which is Art by Bedell, I do the pages one by one. I will give more details with that. We have like a slide here. These ferns were some ferns that I had used when I did some echo printing this year. And then I dried them and put them behind here on a piece of handmade paper and put some acetate to protect them. So we'll put that inside here. And here is some of the ribbed paper that we just, we just love. And on the back side, we have a corner tuck spot. And there were 10 loose papers for journaling. A couple of them look like this. Some of them are plain. They're in various areas throughout the journal. And this is just like some handmade stationery and it goes down inside here like this. Then we have some ledger paper here with a little snippet on the side for a page tab. We have some more handmade paper. 
On this piece of book paper, we have a little side pocket. Inside that, we have three pieces of ephemera that you could use for journaling on the back. And we have this pocket that has like a tag inside. There really isn't any room for journaling on this or for a visual type thing than, than for journaling. And then we have some graph paper that's been tea stained, all the tea stain or coffee stained, all the coffee stained papers and dyed papers with Tim Holtz Distress or Oxide ink. I have used a lot of vintage photo and shabby, uh, what is the name of the other one? Rusty Hinge in here. So this is a piece of old book binding here incorporated into this piece, this little cluster. This is a piece of piano paper that I have covered with some digital paper. And then we have a little pocket here. And inside that is a nice little tag that we can use for journaling on. Piece of copy paper here with some handmade paper. And then this page made out of book paper has four pockets, two that have field notes in them, and then two that have little tags in them like this. On the back side, we just have some um, collage work. We have a, a, a sticker here and there. I've, I did add a few stickers here and there. I usually don't add too many stickers to my journals, but I have so many I decided to add some and try using some of them up and besides it fit and it looks really nice. There's a little corner, there's a little bottom pocket down here made out of ledger paper that has room for two tags and of course you can journal on all this. Here is some of the marbled handmade paper over here and then we have a large tag here and on the back you can journal and that gets held in place by the circle that's on top if you lift it up it can go right over top of the, mul the marbled paper and hold that in place. Inside we have a right hand side pocket with a large tag with some more handmade paper, lots of texture in this for a falcon. And then on the back you can journal. And then that just goes right back inside our right hand side pocket. This flips open and we have room in here for journaling where I guess so to cover up the text on our book paper. And then we have some vintage um, government memorandum paper that we can journal on also. This is the back side of that handmade paper with the same, with another tag and with another large tag journaling card, large journaling card with a different falcon and room to journal on the back of that. Here is the rusty hinge ink that I was talking about and this is some green watercolor splatters here with some more handmade papers on our little cluster that we have on top. On the back side we have the four pockets again with the field notes and the tags. I used the Tim Holtz butterfly here and folded it in half for our page tab on the side and we have some handmade papers here and the rusty hinge ink and then the other half of the butterflies on the other half. This is just some gauze I dyed with some shabby shutters distress ink. More of the piano paper with another tag inside. These all have fibers on them. Another cluster and a page tab with a handmade paper. And no journal, field journal, nature field journal is complete without a bee. We need a bee. So Corey Dahlgren makes these wonderful tags and pockets and she's on YouTube. You need to check her out. But I add one of these into just about every journal I make. I just love this little pocket thing. And it has four tags in it. It has a tag here. You open it up. It has a mini paper pad here. Another tag here. A wee tiny little tag up here. And then in the back of it, it has another tag. I built this on a paper bag. And inside this, we have some mushroom ephemera and a mushroom tag here for journaling. Some more handmade paper here, ledger paper with a page tab. And this is an index card and you can use that for a tuck spot too. You put some paper in it just like that. This is that, um, 
stationery that I had created. And put it in that upper tuck spot there. And another of the slides with some flowers that I had dried. Some more of the ribbing paper. A book page, paper clipped onto some copy paper that's been coffee stained. And then another piece of our echo print paper. Each signature begins and ends with a piece of echo print paper. Here is some awesome handmade paper here. And on this large tag, I have a flower that I had dried and then laminated in. So you can use this for journaling or as a large bookmark if you prefer. And field notes card. You can also journal on this echo print paper here. This is one of my favorites. I love how these flowers really came out, the color and the leaves. This is just really nice. And these are things from my garden. Book paper. We have a, a tag for a tuck spot up here. And then this is some black handmade paper. And we have inside that, we have a large tag for journaling room. And then a piece out of an old book for a nature scene. There we have the water. And there. And we'll keep that down inside the pocket. We have a pocket. The tag goes in the pocket too. And then in the tuck spot, we have another field notes card. On the back side of this handmade black paper, um, 49 Dragonflies, and she's on YouTube, showed this waterfall that she had put in her journal, one of her friends made. And I thought that was really cute and I needed to incorporate that into my journal. So I um, used washi tape, or, um, yeah, they used some washi tape on theirs. I did not. And what it is, it's real easy. You just make, a, and I think, yes, just two pieces of paper. So I have four pages here. And you just sew it on right down through the middle. And you can actually put them in a straight row if you really want the waterfall effect. You can add another one or two more even. I like the staggered look. So that was on 49 Dragonflies. Some more ledger paper with a snippet across the, uh, the side for a page tab. More handmade paper. We have a piece of vellum that I had punched, and then I had put a po side pocket. It has field notes and a tag here. On the opposite side, it has a tuck spot with some field notes card. On this piece of graph paper, we have some of the corrugated cardstock here. There's a lot of nice texture to that. And then we have a piece of paper here that's made out of book paper. And it's uh, like a folder. And I'll try to remember to link the link to the uh, video where I, where I showed you how I made this folder. But up top, we have a field notes. Inside this pocket, we have a tag that's made on some handmade paper. It has some more of that paper that has the wood in it or the straw. I guess it's more like straw. And you can journal on the back of that. So that's really nice texture there. You fold this open and we have a belly band on the left side. We have a large, a long, tall tag for journaling on. And then on the right hand side, we have this piece of ephemera. It's a printable. And then we can journal on the back of that. And a piece of index card. And we have some copy paper with some more handmade paper across here. And this is, yes, yeah, some more of that book paper. And then we have like a tall tag here, but you could use it as a bookmark. It'd make a nice bookmark. It also has room on it for journaling. Some more of our textured corrugated paper here. We have another pressed flower and it's been laminated here. This is some paper ruffle that I had made. This flips open for lots of journaling space here. This flips open and we have a corner tuck spot down here. This is a Tim Holtz flower. We have some tags, more handmade paper, and a piece of paper that you can pull out to journal on. Those go back down inside there, and then this flips out, and you've got all this room for journaling. Plus, you have another tall tag over here. That's out of a book. Another tall pocket, or tag in a pocket, and another of the um, negatives from a die cut over here. 
on the right hand side we have another pocket with another piece of paper for journaling on and then you fold that over and we have a notepad we have another piece of copy paper with some more um, another, another cluster and a cluster here with a, a bug on it over here we have a piece of acetate that I have made into a pocket. This acetate was some that I got, I believe, from Nine Gypsies back when I was doing scrapbooking days. We got a whole package of them with different style designs. And inside this is a tag with, it's a bingo card. I made out of a bingo card. And then we have a piece of acetate on top of that with a tag inside. Let's just expect down in. And this has been machine stitched on. We have some really nice, again, some more of the textured paper and then room to journal here. We have a little pocket on the bottom with textured paper with a little seed packet that you can put a note or something in and room for journaling here. We have a little tuck spot with some ephemera for journaling on. This is like a three quarter inch or three quarter belly band. And then it has a tag that slips down inside. Another piece of vellum with the field notes on it. And then over here we have a pocket with field notes and a tag in on it, which you can use for journaling. Handmade paper, ledger paper with a tuck spot and a journal card. Three quarter belly band again with a journal card. This is the other side of the black handmade paper where we did another waterfall and another pocket and tuck spot with picture out of a magazine, nature print, a large tag and a field note down tucked inside. This page has some packaging over here that makes really nice texture and for um, behind anything when you do your uh, just book paper, a side tuck spot with a piece of echo print paper, but this was done um, not with a boiling like this one was. I'll try to link the link to that. And then here's the echo print paper with a card that flips out that you can journal on. This fern on this piece, third signature, was one that I used in echo printing and then I took it and dried it and then laminated it. So it looks really cool on your echo print paper. Here's the other side of that. We have another piece of book paper. A lot of the paper throughout the signatures are much the same, but yet they're done differently. So they're not exactly the same, but they have a, a, a cohesive feel throughout the whole book. So this is a piece of us that's been dyed with some distress ink and a piece of handmade paper that's been made into a ruffle. We have a piece of coffee stain paper and a tag. And then we have this really neat pocket here. I found it in my stash. I don't know what I ever had it for or where it even came from, but I thought it was time to use it up and I just love it. So what you have is you have a pocket on the front and then you pull out and you have field notes and a tag and another little tag here. So they go back down inside your little pocket on the front. But then the top of this pocket opens up and reveals a large journal tag down inside nature journal and you can journal on the front and the back of this one and then that just slips back down inside your pocket this pocket went inside a three ring binder so on the back side of that we have some cheesecloth some handmade paper another field notes another tag and another little tag over here, we have some ledger paper again. On the other side, we have a journal card that's been um, held on with a paper clip. Now, it's not a hidden paper clip. It's just a glorified paper clip, I guess. I don't know. Some handmade paper. We have a bottom pocket here with some butterfly ephemera. Room to journal on the back side. Another tag here for journaling with a tuck spot. This is my cleanup paper that comes from my desk that I use after it gets messy enough. And so isn't that one. This pocket here has a glassine envelope on it with a piece of fern that I had used for echo printing. And then I pressed it, dried it, pressed it, 
and attached it to my glassine envelope with some glossy accents. So it's not going to get ruined either because it's protected. And you have a couple little tags down inside that. Then we have a field note tag and another tag in the pockets on the side of this. Another piece of copy paper. This one has a little bunny and he is backed on the piece of echo print paper. This has some nice of some of that nice textured paper and we have a specimen card inside. So if you're not using this as a field journal, you can put a picture there, a specimen of one of your family members or something. And then a field notes card inside here. On the back side is a paper pad. Another piece of copy paper, which can be used as a tuck spot. A little sticker on the side over here. And then on this one, we have a journal card and a field notes card. I refrained, I held myself back. I only added lace to this part. Okay, and here's a piece of paper for journaling in this tuck spot. In this tuck spot, we have a large journal card. And then on the right-hand side, we have a field notes and we have another tag. This tag also has some glossy accents on it to give it a little bit more dimension. On the back of this page, we have a large tag that is um, a fern card mounted on some of the handmade paper. And then on the back, we have this cute little squirrel on some coffee paper, and you can journal on that. Nice little card to, to have the texture and more packaging over here. Corner tuck spot here with a card inside that you can journal on. Another paper pad and another tuck spot with the handmade paper and a specimen and a field note. This side we have a pocket here on the right with field notes and a pocket up here for field notes. And then this paper flips out, it's journal paper. We have a bottom pocket here with a large tag and this tag has that nice black handmade paper on the top here and you can journal on the back side and also of course on the paper here and this is a rubber stamp image of bugs more journaling there another bottom pocket with some butterfly ephemera handmade paper ledger paper with a really nice uh, tag on top page tab made out of scraps of the textured paper, the handmade paper. This is the other side to the envelope that I thought was three cool that fits a three ring binder. Has a tuck spot here for the field notes and more journaling over here. Another piece of copy paper for a tuck spot and a page tab. And over here, the same handmade paper. And this piece of Echo print paper, we have a tuck spot and then this piece of paper that you can journal on the back. The other side of our echo print paper. On our back cover, we have, this is made out of a file folder and we have some packaging here and cleanup paper here. We have a tag inside our little pocket here that's been made out of a um, package packaging for a Tim Holtz product that I bought and it makes a really nice little tag with some fibers on. So that concludes the flip through of our journal book and if you're interested in this journal you may purchase it on my website and the links will be below or on my Etsy page and that link will be below also. If you're interested in seeing each of these pages closer up front then I We'll go through this and do each page one by one on my Facebook page, which is Art by B. Dell. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the flip through of this journal. You have a wonderful day and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.